The Pennsylvania primary is three weeks from today. One of the most hotly contested races is for attorney general, an office often considered a stepping stone to the governor's office. Last hour, KDK political editor John Delano looked at the candidates for the Republican nomination. Now the Democrats. Two of the last three governors were attorney general, Republican Tom Corbett and Democrat Josh Shapiro. So no surprise, perhaps five Democrats are vying for their party's nomination later this month. They are Keir Bradford Gray, Eugene De Pasquale, Joe Kahn, Jared Solomon, and Jack Stolsteimer. Bradford Gray is the only woman in the race, and as former chief public defender in Philadelphia and Montgomery County, she says her target is illegal guns. When it comes to gun violence, I understand exactly how people acquire their guns. And I know exactly who to look for in terms of going after people that have allowed this to become an epidemic, meaning that guns have become very accessible and out of control, where we really can't control who gets them in their hands. I want to be able to use my expertise and my understanding to go after illegal sales and illegal distribution, ghost guns. Born and raised in Pittsburgh, twice elected former State Auditor General Eugene De Pasquale says he won't need on-the-job training to be an investigative AG. In that role as Auditor General, I have a record of protecting Pennsylvanians. It was my investigation that found over 3,000 untested rape kits. Working with my team, we cleared that backlog and we brought justice to victims. It was my investigation that found 58,000 unanswered phone calls to the child abuse hotline. Any single one of those calls could have been life or death for a child. So I've had the ability to conduct tough investigations all over the state. Joe Kahn worked as both a county and federal prosecutor, but cites his work defending the rights of citizens. And that's the work that I did um, in Bucks County um, as the county solicitor who protected the right to abortion um, when that came before the US Supreme Court, uh, who enforced our constitutional right to a clean environment um, as the first county solicitor to ever do that. And did when it came to the protecting the right to vote, uh, when that came under attack in 2020 by Donald Trump and his campaign. State Representative Jared Solomon views the AG's office as an extension of what he has done in Harrisburg. When you look at the work I've done in the legislature, taking on the largest special interests that I've done throughout Philadelphia, and throughout the Commonwealth, taking on those political power brokers and elites who don't care about us here in Pennsylvania, but are more concerned with padding their own pocket. I've done that work. Jack Stolzheimer is the only district attorney in the Democratic primary, and he highlights his record of reducing gun violence. I've built a partnership between the uh, police and the community and over the last four years, we've reduced the number of shootings by 72%, and the number of gun homicides are down by 68%. People who live in Chester now don't always look like me, but they're getting to live the American dream. My family got to live because of the wonderful community that Chester is. I wanna do that for every community in Pennsylvania. In addition to these five Democrats, Republicans have two candidates on their ballot, Dave Sunday and Craig Williams. We'll see who the voters nominate on April 23rd, John Delano, KDKA TV News.